Hey, Grade 7. Welcome to another edition of Mr. V Teaches Math. And today we're going to close out this unit on uh, surface area and volume and three-dimensional geometry. And we're going to talk about uh, the differences and similarities between volume, capacity, and mass. And so our goal for the, for the video today is to recognize that there are relationships between um, volume, capacity, and mass, but there are also some differences as well. And so I'm going to share with you uh, some definitions and then uh, a couple of diagrams uh, and then we're going to get into, into some practice about how to how to convert units okay uh, and so if we look at the first definition we say that volume uh, is the measure of the amount of space inside a solid figure um, which basically if you look down at the bottom informally what it means is that volume is how much space an object takes up um, it's measured in units cubed, so for example, centimeters cubed, meters cubed, decimeters cubed, etc. Uh, that's how volume gets measured. Uh, so that's the first definition that we're going to be looking at. The second definition that we talk about is capacity. And so capacity is the maximum amount that something can contain. Capacity gets measured in milliliters or liters. Um, large capacities can be expressed in kiloliters. So when you buy a bottle of pop from the store, uh, it's measured in typically in liters. Uh, you can typically buy the, the liter size or the kiloliter size. Um, but you so you typically get like two liters of pop or one liter of pop or something like that. Um, so the third one that we're going to talk about is mass, um, and mass is a measure of the quantity of matter an object is made up of. Mass gets measured in things like milligrams, grams, or kilograms, uh, and tons as well. Basically, when we talk about mass, we say that it's what something weighs, like how much of something there is. Um, and so, you know, we, we can talk about, because uh, we live in Canada, we can talk about uh, so-and-so weighs this many kilograms kind of thing. That's how much of that person there is, okay? Uh, now let's talk about some of the relationships between uh, volume, capacity, and mass. So here's uh, some helpful information. So this is a little bit hard to see, so I'm actually going to bring it a little bit closer to the camera. And it's still kind of looks a little blurry on my screen. So what we're going to do, this uh, this is a container volume right here, this one, okay? So you notice that this uh, looks like a little one. It actually says here one centimeter cubed. So this is uh, one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter. So it's one times one times one, which is one centimeter cubed. Now in that, uh, if that uh, cube were to be solid, we could say then that the capacity uh, is one milliliter. Okay, uh, that's how much capacity could have in milliliters. Okay, and then we think that, we say that the maximum mass that it can hold will be one gram. Okay, uh, if we go down this way, we look, this is, uh, this is a thousand centimeters cubed. Um, there would be 10 of, 10 of these by 10 of these by 10 of these. And this way it would be, yeah, 10 of the decimeters by 10 of the decimeters by 10 of the decimeters. So if something is a thousand centimeters cubed, that means that it can hold a thousand milliliters. And a thousand milliliters is the same as uh, one liter. And then over here, um, it's 1,000 grams uh, or 1,000 kilograms. And so all of these are equivalent to each other. Then down here, this is a meter cube, which means that this would be one meter by one meter by one meter, which means that it has a capacity of one kiloliter, which is a thousand liters, which is a lot of water uh, or a lot of liquid. Uh, and then we'd say that this would have a mass of one ton. If it's a thousand kilograms, it's got a mass of one ton or a thousand kilograms. Okay, so it's important also to remember down here that a thousand milliliters fit into one liter and that a thousand liters fit into one kiloliter. Okay, so if we have an amount in liters and we want to see how many milliliters that we get, we have to multiply it by a thousand because it's going to get bigger. Likewise, if we want to, if we have a number in milliliters and we want to see how many liters it is, we have to divide it by a thousand, which means it's going to get smaller. Similarly, over here, a thousand there are a thousand milligrams in one gram, 
So if you want to, if you have a number of milligrams and you want to say, hey, I wonder how many grams there are, you have to multiply it by a thousand. Likewise, uh, if you go the other way and you say, I have a number in grams and I want to know how many milligrams there are, uh, you have to multiply it by a thousand. So if we go from milligrams to grams, divide by a thousand, grams to milligrams, multiply by a thousand. And that's the same with uh, grams to kilograms, divide by a thousand, kilograms to grams, multiply by a thousand, uh, kilograms to tons, divide by a thousand, tons to kilograms, multiply by a thousand. Um, so you gotta, you really have to look at the units and you have to figure out if your number is going to be getting bigger or smaller, whether or not you're going to multiply or divide by um, a thousand, or in some cases, like if you want to go from oh, kilograms to milligrams, then you're going to be uh, multiplying or dividing by 100,000, uh, which is crazy. Okay, so this chart, important stuff. Now let's get to some practice. And we are going to do some converting. We're going to convert from, uh, well, we're going to convert two liters. Okay. So if I have 3.4 milliliters, and I want to see how many liters that is. If I look back here, I'm going from milliliters to liters, which means I need to divide by a thousand. So that's going to be 3.4 milliliters divided by a thousand, which is going to give me 0 0.0034 liters. So, um, oops, sorry guys. For this second one, I have 2.45 kiloliters, and I want to know how many liters that is. Well, this number, because I'm going from, from kiloliters to liters, I'm going to have to multiply by a thousand to see because it's, my number is going to get bigger. So I have 2.45 kiloliters times a thousand, and it's going to give me 2,450 liters. Same here. I'm starting with kiloliters, and I want to go to liters. So it's 4.5 kiloliters times a thousand which is going to equal 4,500 liters. Okay, so that's that's converting things like milliliters and kiloliters to liters. Um, now, I'm going to go the opposite way. I'm going to convert liters to milliliters. And for each of these, I'm going to multiply by 1,000 because I, if I think about my chart again, I'm going from liters to milliliters. So I'm gonna, my numbers are going to get bigger. And so in 3 liters, there are 3,000 milliliters. In 0 0.7 liters, there are 700 oops, milliliters. And in 659.7 liters, there are 60, sorry, 659,700 milliliters. Um, so that's converting... Uh, milliliters, kiloliters to liters, and then liters into milliliters. Okay, the last bit of stuff that we're going to work on is we're going to be converting um, milligrams and gram and kilograms to, to grams. So uh, if I start with milligrams, I want to know how many grams. My number is going to get smaller, so I'm going to need to divide by a thousand, which means I have 19 grams. Basically, I can move my decimal place over three. Um, this one's going to get bigger. I'm going to take my decimal place, I'm actually going to multiply this by 1,000, uh, and it's going to give me 1,920 grams. I can move my decimal place over one, two, three spots. And then this number is going to get smaller, so I'm going to divide this by 1,000, which is going to give me 0 0.357 grams. So I can move my decimal place over three to the left. Typically, folks, what's happening is that if you uh, since we're not necessarily going from, uh, you know, milliliters to kiloliters or milligrams to kilograms, you need to figure out if you're moving your decimal place three to the right to get bigger or three to the left to get smaller. And that's really key for this topic. So we've talked about the relationship between volume, mass, and capacity. We talked about the definitions and we've worked on some practice of converting stuff. So hopefully that's been helpful. Tomorrow you will get another chance to practice that stuff in class. So have a great night.